and welcome back to Let's Play Steambot Chronicles. Time to head into the desert. Also, I need have new spider legs. They're cool, I guess. Honestly, I don't think you need them for the desert, but I want better legs anyways. And they look kind of cool. Oh, we have to go in the morning. Okay, fine. Let's go take a nap. Fortunately, they have free beds in the uh, bazaar for some reason. Not really sure why. But let's sleep till morning. And they were kind enough to provide two. So Connie doesn't have to sleep on the floor. Also, I should probably eat something. I'm probably starving. But we'll find out soon enough. We're not an elephant. Oh yeah, we are starving. We need food. Fortunately, we got plenty of food. We're, we have no money, but we have food. So let's eat that desert bread. Uh, that potato we found. Don't eat those. And we're good. Also, there are too many people around. Game's lagging. Alright, so we should be ready to go. Let's get moving. Whoops, I accidentally said no. Let's get moving. Alright, so basically, bandits will attack us. Uh, well, you'll see once you actually get into the desert. Our job is to basically protect them. Also, they're kind of slow in terms of movement. Maybe I should have changed my trauma. Okay, yeah, I think our movement speed is a bit too quick for them. We're kind of just shoving up against him. But maybe I should have changed my colors to basically match theirs better. Oh well. Anyways, welcome to the Sabia Desert. Once it loads. It is very dusty. It's just the Savia Desert from here on out. Pretty vast. You shouldn't just wander around blindly. Stay close if at all possible. If you get too far out, I'll shoot flares so you can find us. Be as careful as possible. You run low on gas. Talk to the man in the rear truck for me. Thieves have become very aggressively. I believe they're called the Desert Hornets. And we have another bandit group. Let's show them the might of the killer elephants. So yeah, basically we need to make sure that the bandits don't break these trotmobiles. We actually get paid on how much damage they take. If they don't take any damage, we get a bonus. But yeah, this is the desert. I will give the game developers one thing. They make the desert feel really big. Although honestly, it's not that huge. It's actually surrounded by like mountains. Like the edge of the desert is right over there. I can't really see the other side of the desert, though. But yeah, basically, if you get too far away... Let's see if we can trigger it. He'll start shooting flares up. Also, I think we can talk to the camel people. Yep. They apparently really like the desert. Can I get on these? No, it won't let me stay on. Oh, well. Alright, so we should probably... Ooh, what is that? I am a horrible guard, by the way. I get distracted really easily. I think that's a rock. That's a... Is that a car? Oh no, that's a Trommobile, uh, frame. Awesome, it's mine now. Huh? Are those the thieves? Also, we're under attack. We should probably take care of that. Uh, this is where the radar comes in very helpful. That sense made no sense, but... Basically, keep an eye on the radar and look for any blips. There they are. They are fast. Fortunately, they are also very frail. And they will attack the caravan relentlessly. So we should not let that happen. Kind of wish I had replaced the bond chain with something else by this point. 
Also, where's the caravan? I'm probably getting kind of far away from them, actually. Yeah, uh, you know what? Let's catch up with them. Stop getting in my way. Actually, wait, they're not even attacking the caravan, are they? Wait, are we already missing a car? Or was that just me accidentally blocking something? No, we still have all four. Yeah, the pathfinding for them can be kind of weird sometimes. Also, for some reason, the bandits aren't chasing. Normally, they're supposed to be pretty relentless in this part. Well, that was... easy. We've been at it for like 10 minutes, but okay. So yeah, we got a little oasis here. Also, is it really a good idea just to leave the caravan like just sitting out here? Oh well. But yeah, the Sabia Desert looks bigger than it actually is. Like we're already halfway across. Anyways, welcome to the How Are You Hungry Again? Here, just drink like two pieces of milk. There we go. Anyways, welcome to the Oasis. Let's take a look around. Camel people are asleep. I don't know. I can't actually know. A Trotmobile would probably be a better ride. You're welcome. I'm surprised they didn't do more damage since here I actually uh, left the caravan for a while. Alright, so they're pretty happy. Let's take a look around the oasis though. We could go in, but we'll do that later. Also, Connie, are you wearing a swimsuit? Yes, you are. Someone's expecting to go swimming. But yeah, this is why you can buy a swimsuit earlier. You can swim here. Although, technically, you don't need a swimsuit. Alright, so, let's take a look around here. Because there is a side quest we can start triggering here. Uh, basically involves going over here. Also, I see a treasure chest. We'll have to get that later. A very soggy treasure chest. We are an escort. Let's disagree with him. And we get full recovery here. I don't know how he does it. Magic, maybe. But basically, we need to find that guy's brothers. Anything else around here? No. Also, where did Connie go? Connie? Uh-oh. Um... It's... Should we lie to him? No. Let's just say they're advanced machines. And... Peace and harmony. Oh well. But yeah, I think I lost Connie. Whoops. Normally she's supposed to be with you this entire time. Unless she got stuck on something, which is a very real possibility. Oh well, I guess we'll find her later. Oh, Connie. Oh wait, no, there she is. Wait, Connie, did you get stuck on the... Connie, are you okay? There we go. Yeah, Connie, what'd you get stuck on? I guess I rounded the corner too fast. Anyways, let's go swimming. Although we're not really dressed for swimming. I can fix that. Let's put on everything. I mean, you can't go swimming in swimming trunks, silly. Let's wear a really nice suit. Uh, we need a hat. 
Perfect. Let's swim in our suit. I don't care. I am going to swim in this. This would be so uncomfortable in the water. Oh, hey, bow tie. So yeah, let's just swim around a bit. Water effects in this game, though, are not so great. Like, the water should not look like this. Anyways, what I, why I wanted to swim was, other than to advance the story, there was something under here we could get. Uh, it should be, like, right over here? I know it's around here somewhere. Hey, kid. Oh, God, Connie got stuck again. Let's lie to him this time. Good choice, kid. And we got a book. That book would have melted away into nothingness by now. Uh, I'll take a look once we get out. You know what? No. Nothing like reading while swimming, right? Uh, let's see, it was number four, wasn't it? Here we go. Like before, if you want to really read it, just pause uh, for every page. I'm going to go by relatively quickly. Also, the literature in this world is kind of really simple. Alright, and let's not eat that. I wonder... Connie, do you want some meat? No, let's not give her poison. Yes, it is a good thing for you. Alright, let's get out of here. We're gonna need to really clean the suit at some point. Also, I need to take off my shoes. I don't think you can catch a cold, even with the suit. But yeah, I do like the game actually comments on whether or not you're wearing the proper stuff. Whoops. Oh, speaking of wearing this proper stuff, we're hungry again. We're just starting to run low on food. I need to grab some when I get the chance. Uh, but let's change out of this. Let's go back. You know what? Let's just put this on. Take off the shoes. Let's put on the cowboy hat. Perfect. Actually, no. Let's put on some proper clothes. Uh, where's my cowboy outfit? That's a good thing for the desert, right? I had a cowboy suit. Oh, wait. I don't think I could afford the cowboy suit. Um, let's just put on our regular clothes. We haven't seen these for a while. Alright. We look normal now. Well, normal-ish. Also, Connie's wearing that clothes we bought her. Whoops. Eh, looks nice on her. Everyone else is asleep, so we should probably head to bed too. That is right after we go over here. Let's take a bit of time to reflect on everything that's happened. Let's talk about ourselves. Hmm. You know what? Let's sympathize with them. I could see them wanting to go to the moon. Although, you might want to invent something that flies first, considering we don't have flying tromobiles. Oh, wait, you see the lipstick now. probably mad at me. We have a concert coming up, and I just took off without warning. But if we can make it to Happy Garland tomorrow, I think it'll be okay. Hey, I was thinking. Could I maybe ask you questions about yourself? It might jog your memory. Oh, should we shut her down? No, let's oh, learn sure. about ourselves. And by learn about ourselves, oh, I mean make stuff okay. up. What kind of food do you like? I like... Let's go with sweets. Sweets tickle my fancy. I did not expect that out, uh, that outcome. Uh, I like... Cake? Well, nothing stacks up against cake. Cakes are a little fancy for me. Maybe you came from a wealthier family. 
So, did that help you remember anything? I don't know. Cakes aren't that expensive. But nope. I still can't remember. Hmm. Maybe if I ask you something else. Sure. Okay, go ahead. How about... That's the pendant. I know I've seen it before. That's not a question, but okay. That's the one Mallow used to wear. Where'd you get that? Hmm. It's mine well, now. Of course. That's who I am. I'm Mallow. No, you're not, but that's beside the what? point. You mean, you're really Mallow? I guess you did lose your memory. Mallow. He's the son of a well-known doctor. You could say he was a friend of ours. He picked on Dandelion and Chicory a lot, though. I don't know who those people are. Let's ask about uh, Dandelion. He used to lead the Garland Globetrotters, actually. Now he owns an instrument workshop near Happy Garland. Did someone say more instruments? Uh, let's ask about Chicory now. Chicory? He... he's Dandelion's younger brother, and... he's a friend. Ooh. Heard that Mallow went to study abroad. Nobody's heard from him since. Let's not talk about that. Also, if you know what Mallow looks like, why would you assume hey, Vanilla is him? Did you get a chance to practice that song I gave you? You play, and I'll sing, okay? It'll be fun. Anyways, we get to play now. Uh, what's with the harmonica? That is kind of technically our signature instrument. Unless it looks less silly than the pulling out a trumpet out of nowhere. Fortunately, this song is really easy, and I don't think it actually matters how well you play. Also, we got a little musical number, as always. Don't know where the piano is coming from, though. Also, I would feel bad about talking over this, but we hear this song so much that it's not going to matter. Actually, I wonder. I'm just going to try screwing up, see what she thinks. Okay, fine. We'll do it properly. There's one thing I like about this game. It does encourage experimentation. And the song should be nearing completion. Also, I just realized someone left the lights on on that Trotmobile. Oops. It's funny how things turn around Just by singing out loud There we go. That wasn't too horrible. Except for that one part in the middle where I stopped trying. Also, the song should be over by now. There we go. That was perfect. You'd fit right in with the Garland Globetrotters, you know? I like how you say perfect when I literally put an entire section where I purposely screwed up. <sighs> it's getting late. I think I'm gonna go to sleep. Good night. Alright, and with that, I think it's about time we went to bed, too. What time is it? Oh, wait, I can't tell. I took the clock off my Trotmobile. Also, I never noticed how angry my Trotmobile looks now. But we can just sleep here. Let's just sleep till morning. Although, it doesn't look like we're gonna make it till morning. How did we not hear that? Oh no! What do we do? What do we do? Those 
Eve's are terrifying. Are you actually going after her? Of course we're going after her. No, we're not. Yes, we are. I eat thieves for breakfast. Of course I'm going. Ooh, how incredibly brave. I'll show you the way. I've done business at their hideout before. So yeah, Connie just kind of got kidnapped. Also, we can't go back to sleep. We're going to go after her, but that'll wait till next time. So next time on Let's Play Steve Bot Chronicles, we should probably go get Connie back. I mean, it would be rude to let her just stay there. So, till then.